All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Project Slayers video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to solo Mucan Train. Um, this is going to be a, a very good guide on how to solo it and how, what you need to solo it. Pretty much, I'm doing this very under level. And I see I'm only level 179. The max is like 225. And I'm also doing this with level 50 War Fans and 200 Reaper Mastery. Now, you don't need Reaper to do this. You don't need to be a demon. Just honestly, you need a good, you need a good BDA, like Dream Swap, Reaper, Ice, one of those. If you're a Slayer, um, you can use Slayers, but I don't recommend it because I don't think it's very good. Anyways, yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to clear every stage solo. So yeah, if you guys find this very helpful, make sure to subscribe and enjoy the video. Alright, in the first area, this area is going to be fairly simple. As the Dream Core, they get buffed three times. So you get three times as much HP and the and the spawns, they get very, very nerfed. This was the hardest part to solo in the last thing because obviously soloing was impossible just because of this part. But in this, they made it very easy. All right, what you got to do is you, gotta, you only want to go to where they spawn instantly and just kill the first appendice and you don't want to keep doing this that's pretty much it literally just keep going and killing them and you, you pretty much won't get overrun if you do it right and you instantly go to them that's why i do recommend having a lot of speed as you can see i do have 45 percent speed you just get this number of accessories but you don't really need it all i do is recommend is go to every single npc um the moment they spawn and aggro them you don't have to fully kill them if you can't fully kill them then all you gotta do is aggro them because as you see once you aggro them, they do lose aggro to the orb, and so if you're getting overrun, this is a strat you could do. As you see, I'm not kill him, I'm just gonna hit him and then go to the next enemy. And doing this pretty much makes it so you can kill them all like AoE instantly and they don't kill the orb. As you see, I'm gonna get them all piled up right here and I'm gonna use tornado and instantly kill them all besides that one. But this is a very good strat you could do if you are getting overrun. You don't have to do this. This is not recommended or not not necessary at all. It's just necessary if you are getting overrun. Like let's say a civilian boss spawns like just now and I can't kill it before the other ones get to it. I'll just do this and then this this works out for me. So that's how you want to clear this stage. Just instantly go and kill them and then hit them just to get them off the aggro. And this stage is very easy. Even if some of them do slip like that, I just messed up. But the orb has a lot of HP, so you will be fine. As you can see, pass the stage pretty easily, just insta killing them, grouping them up, and doing AoE spells, or not spells, or AoE skills. That's why good good uh, BDAs like Reaper is very good. But anyways, moving on to the next part. The train part is this one is also very easy as they buffed it a lot. What you want to do is completely ditch the first train and just defend one train because you can't just go back and forth. Unfortunately, this oh, I'm, I'm in the wrong train. You're supposed to protect this train. I messed up. You're supposed to protect this train and pretty much ditch the, the first train. So you want to run over, right over to the second train instantly and and then just protect these ones and then you pretty much just want to ignore the other one now, as you see now there, there are no demons in the other one and they barely spawn and when they do it'll only be one doing uh, like no damage so this one pretty much you only want to protect this one train and it's very easy because pretty much the npcs have 4x hp as a 4 so they take it so long to die and you only lose a couple if you do this right uh even with a like bad b day or something you only lose a couple and this this, this one's just very easy as you see there's still no other demons on the train so this is going to be the method and you can still you can do the same thing you do in the first train where you aggro all, the, all of them to get them off the citizens this is why reaper is so good for this i see i just aggro them all off and i see none of them aggro on the minions or the npcs and i get them together and i use your war tornado to kill them all as you see here i'm using war tornado i get that one too and then that's why uh these fans are very good for this as well you don't need them um i i first time i did this i did it with a scythe so just get just get spells i keep saying spells get a bda that does a lot of aoe that's gonna be the best thing aura breathing like wind works and sound sound is also very good i am but yeah um, i'm also i'm also using commodo clan commodo clan is very good because of 2x stamina regen as you see every every mini got every uh npc is gone at another train you still is only a one npc so this is very easy even being as underleveled as i am this is a very easy soloable part and you shouldn't have any problem on this if you're doing it right and ignoring the other train oh my god i unfortunately glitched in the map this is so unlucky bro I don't know what I'm gonna do now here because if I am glitched out, all I could do is try to get this this demon to uh, to like air M1 me. But I don't know. This is very dumb. This Mika train is very glitchy. I, I glitched last time I did this as well, so hopefully I will find a way out. All right, hopefully the, the NPC spawn for five more seconds. So I do have an idea here. But yeah, this is very dumb. I just, the, 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 the it has so much bugs for some reason, but unfortunately 
I did get stuck. I think I will survive here. I have three more seconds and I survive here. But I'm gonna try to get on top. Oh, oops. I'm gonna try to get on top of the train and I'm gonna jump out of there and press E on it and try to get back in. Hopefully I can do that. But yeah, this is, I don't, I don't really know how it goes. I've never glitched out of here before. I've glitched out the train before, but not in this uh, spot. So yeah, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna ask up there, jump down, and hopefully I can press E on that before I die. I can't even get on top. I don't think, I don't think I get on top. This is so cursed. Oh, I got back in. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Um, that that that, that was sloppy, but I just see even if I got bugged, I still did it because uh, the first part was so easy. But pretty much, you just want to go in one one train and just call it a minion, uh, and you'll be you'll be fine. All right, next part is Enmu. This is a pretty straightforward one. All you want to do is hit her with or hit him with all your abilities, and then just back up. I'll show you guys what my what I do. And I am going to be switching to my Scythe because my Scythe does have way more M1 damage compared to my, um, compared to my, um, what's it called, my, um, War fans. But pretty much what I like to do for this is I start off by quick tackle link and getting, get Emu right at the end of the train right here. And then pretty much you just want to spam with abilities. That's all you want to do at this, at this point, spam with abilities. I, I, Unfortunately, I got perfect blocks, but it doesn't matter. This part is very easy as you only need to do like 6,000 damage-ish. And if you get knocked off like I am about to get knocked off here, you spam K, G, J, L, and I'm doing it very slow. But yeah, you pretty much want to spam those. Get back before uh, he regens because the boss does regen if you don't hit, him, uh, don't hit him in a while. So that's another thing. You always want to hit the bosses. Don't stop and like go for a heal if you don't need to because you need to hit them for so they don't regen. But as you see... Get it, get him in the like the wall here, and then just spam every single ability you have. I'm gonna do that, and you you can always back up too. This phase is very easy because Emu pretty much has two abilities in this phase, and he you get him stuck behind this little thing here. If you use your abilities to get him into the wall, as you see, he's stuck and can't get out unless unless like I get him out. But yeah, this this part's very easily uh, very easy. I'm gonna speed it up for you guys, so I'm just uh, killing him. But this is really all you need to do. Alright, as you see, that phase is pretty easy, and I I didn't know I am very low HP here. So after you complete this phase, it will put you in the flesh monster phase, and this is gonna be the hardest part of the entire raid because this part, this is just a really annoying uh, boss to solo. But pretty much, uh, before you get in here, you can you can you can stop the heal. You use Kamino if you are Kamino, or just use potions. I I do recommend you bring a lot of potions to this if you're gonna solo it for um Akasa plus this. But pretty much, you wanna get full full HP here, and this one is straightforward. It's just really annoying. So you wanna go in. And you want to do slower ones, like one, two, three, four. You don't want to finish the fifth one. One, it's it's it's, it's kind of weird, but pretty much you want to block every single tentacle that throws at you like this. And you can you can use all your M ones after you throw the tentacle because there's like, uh, like a time between when it throws the next tentacle. But as you see, block all of it. It doesn't throw another one. So sometimes you're just gonna get hit by it, and there's really nothing you can do about it. But do you block that one? I'm gonna get hit by this one. That's just unlucky. And then when it uses this ability, what I like to do is I like to just run away like this until it goes away and then go back in and use it again. That's very unlucky, but it won't have to be, I just died already. But pretty much to go back to what I was doing at the beginning where I block, um, that's why you don't want to use all five M1s because if you use all five of them, you can't block. I see two of M1s I can block. Uh, I kind of blocked that one, unfortunately. And then I'm going to just heal real quick while it like, does a lot of damage. This is why you do need... Amino or at least a lot of potions because here you don't have a lot of potions this is gonna be very hard but yeah use this ability again it doesn't even summon anything for some reason but block this and I keep going and then I mean this is pretty much the entire thing on this it's just very annoying and if you stop hitting it for uh, like a little bit it will regenerate so you want to keep hitting it if you're gonna go to heal make sure you're using like a projectile to at least hit it like like a like a dream projectile or something but if you don't hit it, if you don't hit it for a while, it will regenerate. So you do need to look out for that. As you can see, it started regenerating just now. That was scary. But yeah, I, I got to combat like at least like six seconds and it already it already regenerated. So pretty much you need to stay in combat. So yeah, you really need to time these um blocks perfectly. But pretty much this is gonna be the hardest part of the raid. So once you pass this, you will be good. But I'm gonna speed it up for you guys. Um, because this will take a while. As you see, almost dead here. What I'm gonna do before I kill it is I'm gonna. Oh, I can't actually get. I can't actually regen yet. 
but I'm gonna hit it and then run away so I can regen because you want to be full HP before you fight Akaza or you're gonna die, honestly. If you're low HP, Akaza's probably gonna kill you, so pretty much you do want to get like full HP before you actually kill it, but also this mode, this one is pretty easy, honestly, just do it. If you don't have teammates, usually the only reason you would ever fail this is because if your teammates sucked, so basically that, the mean, that, that phase is already pretty easy, everyone knows how to do that one, but as you see, Full HP for Akaza, and Akaza boss fight is as simple as any other boss fight in the game. All you gotta do, the only difference between Akaza is that Akaza is 4000 HP, so yeah. I see this boss instantly goes on you, or oh, actually it doesn't, so yeah, I'm gonna just get aggro of it. This boss is also pretty simple, um, you do the same thing you did against Emu boss, except um, there's like no walls or anything, and it's, it's less annoying, but it's just a lot of damage. So what you wanna do against this boss is... Fight, like fight normally like you would any boss and then just run away when you need to heal because this boss isn't as punishing where it heals like the full HP if you don't even stop attacking it so all you want to do as you see I, I have it against Solari here so I'm gonna just do this back up use my ability get another uh, thing in back up use my ability get another auto in and then use my ability and so this boss fight is this is why the plus monster is the hardest part of the raid instead of Akaza even though Akaza does so much damage if you do it right uh, it will be very easy I know very I'm just I'm gonna just speed rush here and speed rush in place. And he's blocking, so I can get another M1 here. And all my birds are back up. Yeah, this one's very easy. All you gotta do is get a cause of 5,000 HP, I think, or 6,000, whatever it is. And you know, and then you're done. I'm gonna speed up for you guys. As you see, this process is very easy. He's like barely hit me. But yeah. I am getting pretty low here, so I'll show you guys what I do as an example for when I run. I pretty much just run and then pop a potion, keep dashing away. This is why the speed, the speed as you see, I have 45% speed plus um, Reaper is very good because the Kaza can't catch up to me and then I just I just run and then heal and then he's still low because this boss doesn't heal to full HP if you get a combat. But yeah, back to the wall and then this should be pretty easy. Oh my god, I actually got close to the end there, but I see, I beat Akaza, solo, pretty easy, very underleveled. But yeah, let's see what we get. So I get Skull Scythe, I've been looking for Skull Scythe, and I got nothing. But pretty much, I see, I did get three chests as a solo, so there's like, this, it's literally three times better than doing it alone. It's like getting three Mika trades done by itself, and it takes, it takes just a little longer, especially if you do it right. Especially if you do it right, you will be fine. Um... I see, I am only level 170, my Scythe Mastery is also low, my Fist Mastery is also low, and my Reaper Mastery is also low, so doing this uh, max level is also is obviously way easier, but yeah, that's how you solo, you can train um, the ultimate guide, if you guys find this video helpful, make sure you do like and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.